seen in a criminal case, certainly not in a murder trial. The accused acting as an attorney and questioning a witness. That's exactly what happened late this afternoon in the Susan Monica murder trial. That's right. Again, we want to warn you that some of the details that you're about to hear are graphic. NBC5's Roma Villavicencio joins us live in studio with the very latest from the courtroom. Roma. Christine, for the first time today, the defense had a chance to cross-examine witnesses and with a hybrid, hybrid presentation, Susan Monica herself questioned the lead investigator, all of it making for a very riveting third day in this murder trial. Susan Monica grilling Jackson County Sheriff's Detective Eric Henderson, the same man she jokingly threatened to kill and feed to her pigs. What did you do my pigs? It certainly wasn't your typical day in Jackson County Court. Anyone. Monica's charged with killing two men, Robert Haney and Stephen Delacino, and feeding them to her pigs at her Rogue River area ranch. The accused serial killer had pushed Judge Timothy Barnack to allow her to cross-examine witnesses, arguing it was her Sixth Amendment right to be an active participant in the trial. Is there a question that you have for him? Judge Barnack repeatedly stopped her, saying she wasn't asking appropriate questions or following the rules of the court. He even reprimanded her for disparaging Detective Henderson's character. But it wasn't just Monica's questions that enthralled the courtroom. One day after getting up dramatically and walking out as the interview with detectives was played, she got up again Thursday and asked the judge to have Haney's family removed from the courtroom. I do not want them to hear what he has just said, what he is about to say. In the video, she blamed her sick sense of humor for the murders of Haney and Delacino. I see my stupid sense of humor becoming reality. Thoughts she says she had in her head for 10 years before it became reality. Court documents show that jurors would not be in the courtroom when Monica cross examines witnesses, but today they were. Stay with NBC5 News as we will continue to bring you the latest on this trial. Live in the studio, Roma Villavicencio, NBC5 News.